<laughs> oh my god. Where's it going? Where's it going? <laughs> ah! Whoa. Wait, whoa. <laughs> By the way, this video is sponsored by LifeZone, and they're all about good health, and good health is tight. But I'll tell you more about them later, now let's begin. Well, hello there. My name is Garrett, and I once bought a cake for a rat. Oh my god, that was literally the worst video intro I've ever heard. Why? Because you can't disappear for like months and then come back talking about buying a cake for a rat. That's stupid. Okay, rude. No, accurate. Perhaps. Okay, just why are you even talking about like rats and cakes right now? Well, because in this video, I'm not gonna buy a cake for a rat. Oh, thank god. I'm gonna bake a cake for a rat. I literally wish you were never born. Same. Let's get started! You see, earlier this year, I made a tweet about a rat. A little wild sweetie that lives somewhere in my backyard. And I say somewhere because I don't know where exactly. He's a wild rat, after all. I only see him occasionally, just sometimes, on my security cameras. Walking along fences, getting into things he shouldn't. But I've heard whispers from some of the locals that he lives somewhere between my old right boot and this old dirty Golden Girls pillow. Neither of which I've ever had the heart or desire to throw away. <laughs> Anyways, the tweet that I made about this rat said this. Last night, I caught a rat trying to sneak into a trash can on my patio. He was hunting for old scraps, so I took care of him the only way I could. By buying him a cake and setting up a night vision camera to watch him be sweet and satisfied and taken care of. And then I showed him just munching up a storm. Munching up a storm. Just munching up a storm. And then he got scared and stopped. But for many days, he was eating the hell out of this cake that I bought him. And let me tell you, the responses to that tweet were wild. In fact, the responses to that tweet were very similar to the responses to another tweet I made a couple months before that, where I bought a rat a Happy Meal. And I could just show you that one because it's a video. Look, I found this rat on the street and he looked really like tired, like dehydrated or something odd, I don't know. So I brought him to some shelter and I don't know if this was the right thing to do, but I got him a little Happy Meal and he seems to be liking it. Are you liking it, buddy? Oh my God, you are sweet. Everyone knows that you deserve a treat. Eat this apple. You love it. <laughs> You're my little favorite rat. And for the record, yes, I do miss him and I hope he's alive. The responses that I got to both of those rat tweets were 99% wholesome. Many people shared photos of their own domesticated little weirdos. Look at all those little freaks. God, they're cute. This one's naked. This one looks like Baby Yoda. He's nibbling confetti. This one looks a little bit too big for his own good. And this one might need help. Regarding the other responses, a lot of you call for my protection. People say things like, uh, protect Garrett at all costs. I see that multiple times a day, and let me tell you something, I need 0% of your protections. Because I may be wholesome, but I'm mad strapped. I can't believe it. Ever since I was a girl, this is all I've dreamed of. <laughs> to become an astronaut. Oh, but if only Mother could see me now. Oh, Mother. She was always one. Well, shit. It seems I've been severed perfectly in half. Anyways, addressing the other 1% of responses to those tweets, I saw things that weren't so wholesome. I saw things like this. Dramatic music. <clears throat> Garrett, no! You can't feed rats Happy Meals. They'll get dehydrated and die. Someone else exclaimed, Oh, God, no, Garrett. There's too much sugar in that cake, probably. The rat's gonna die. Look, I get it. People are just concerned about the well-being of these rats that I was feeding. But no more need to be concerned. Not for the rat, anyway. For me, maybe. I'm setting out to make the perfect cake for my backyard wild scavenger rat. Because as we all know, cake is tight. And if a man baking a cake for a rat in his backyard is the type of content that you don't want to see, then what are you doing on my channel? And why am I doing this? Why am I choosing to bake a cake for a wild rat in my backyard? Because I have a theory. I have a theory that critters, and when I say critters, I mean all of them. Bugs, mice, rats, bees, squirrels, raccoons, ladybugs, spiders even, whatever. They are truly just like us. They're just awkward little creatures trying to survive in a massive terrifying world, and they're doing their best, and sometimes they get lost and they wander into strangers' homes looking for food because they're super hungry. That's literally just me. I do that. And that's most of us, honestly. We are all little bugs. So if I get the chance to make life even a little easier for a little critter, I'll take it! Because a lot of people have done that for me in life, so really I'm just paying it forward. And speaking of paying it forward, shout out to LifeSum for sponsoring this video. And let me tell you, I'm already in love with this app because for me, it is going to be incredibly important moving forward into the new year. Because it's an app that focuses on fixing something that I personally am very terrible at. Oh, your upload schedule? Stop dragging me in the middle of my brand deal. No, I mean, yes, but no. I'm referencing my physical health. Oh my god, yeah, no, I literally don't even know how you're still alive. No, honestly, me neither. Because of the phrase, you are 
are, what you eat is true, then this is probably what the state of my health looks like based on what I put into my body. My habits in that department are a little bit of a nightmare, but LifeSum is gonna help me keep track of some habits and help me to make better ones in that department. Because LifeSum is a nutrition focused app that helps you be more aware of putting the right things in your body. Proper nutrients and water, which literally everyone needs to drink more of. Hey, look at this, they even got a cute little graphic to help you log your water intake. And I'm not trying to sound like your mother, but you need to drink more water, okay? And LifeSum will help you do that and a lot more. So if you wanna go vegan, if you wanna start eating paleo, you want a sugar detox, they got tons of programs and stuff in there for you based on whatever you want to accomplish. I honestly feel like the best way to describe it, it's like having a little personal nutritionalist in your pocket at all times who adapts to your diet. My own personal diet is just something that I'm super fast and loose with. I kind of eat whatever, whenever, at all times. I don't really have a schedule and I definitely want to lock that part of myself down in order to feel more confident and just healthier and also not slightly dead all the time. And I'm just looking forward to being more cognizant of that in 2020. I hate when my infinity gauntlet turns off. How long was it off for? Oh God, that makes me so mad. Okay, sorry, back to life some. Anyways, I'm super looking forward to using life some just to improve my uh, all around health because health is good. Physical, mental, emotional, all of it. And nutrition and physical habits have a huge effect on all those other things. And I think life some is gonna be a really great tool to accomplish that goal with. And you know, maybe ultimately that's what this video is about is me trying to feed a rat a healthy cake because I'm not feeding myself healthy enough. So I'm projecting onto my scavenger rodent that lives in my backyard while I continue to eat like a complete trash panda. Wow, that's not great, but I wanna stop doing that in the new year. Anyways, life some is completely great. It's free to download and even use a basic version of, but if you want the premium version with a ton of features and some of the features I've been talking about, you can get that discounted subscription by using the links in the description below. So thank you to LifeSum. I think it's really great if you're trying to improve your health, maintain your health, whatever you're after, I think it's really good for that. So download it, check it out, and let's all try to be healthier in the new year. Now back to the task at hand. I'm faced with the complex question of what to feed a rat. I've never had one, so I don't know. I don't know what rats eat. What do rats eat? What do we put in the cake? How will we ever find this information out? Um, you could Google it. Of course I could, but what do you always say about me? Oh, that your BMI is way too high and it might not hurt to take up jogging? No, the other thing. Um, oh, that you need to go to therapy and work on your commitment issues or you'll end up dying alone? No, the other thing. Um, that you're extra? Yes, that's the one. Oh yeah, you're the most extra person on the actual entire f***ing planet. Right, so I could Google what rats eat or I have a friend named Shan who lives in New Jersey that has rats. She's practically a rat expert. Okay, right, so call her and ask her. Or, or text her, I don't know. But what? I've never been to Jersey and I want to pet her little rat. Oh my God, that would literally be so stupid. It's Jersey, there's nothing there. Just call her or text her. It's rat time, baby. I literally hope his plane crashes. So it was off to New Jersey for me to visit my friend Shan and her great boyfriend, Chris. You might know them both. Why, you ask? Well, short answer is because they're both terrific. You see, Chris here is a big internet boy, former Viner, current Twitcher, and owner of the clothing company Neat Dude, which I've stanned since the early days of Vine. Which is, by the way, how I know both Shan and Chris. We were all Vine friends, you see, back in the early days of 2013. We go way back. <laughs> Look at me back there. Side note, I spent almost my entire life as a single third wheel to virtually every couple that I know. Isn't that dark? <laughs> Let's talk about something else to keep me from crying. Let's talk about Shan. Mark my words, Shan is a miracle. I love this girl. Look at this chicken. Are you kidding me? Shan is like the patron saint of loving and protecting all little living things, including weirdos. She dances with chickens. She's a rat mom. She gives little kisses and she hangs out with garden snails. And guess what else? She hangs out with little lizards. Oh, and apparently she scares really easily when Chris does this. I love these two a lot. They're the absolute cutest. And since Shan knows so much about rats, she's gonna know exactly what to put in the rat cake. So of course I got my ticket for Jersey, waited in the hellish 38 minute holiday security line, made my way to the plane, caught the pilot picking his little nose, but who cares, we're all human. Found my seat, saw the cutest luggage you've ever seen. And then I realized I should probably tell Shan and Chris that I'm coming. So during my flight, I sent a text to Shan and I was like, hey, can I come over today and hang out and ask you about rats? And she was like, wait a minute, don't you live in Los Angeles? And I was like, yeah, I do, but I'm in Jersey today. And she was like, oh my God, why? And I was like, don't worry about it. Anyways, can I come over? And she was like, of course. And I was like, great. And what's happening now is you're just getting a little break. Just eight seconds of calm energy for you. Because there's no one on earth who's more aware of my batshit crazy editing style than myself. Now let's get back into it. Okay, hope that was nice for you. Anyways, after I text message Chan, I finished the movie I was watching and then I took a nap. During my nap, I had a dream that I went to a really cool version of heaven. I remember an armadillo, a Santa, and a pretty mischievous pumpkin, and I'm pretty sure that God was a mouse. And everything was going great in this dream until a flight attendant named Brenda interrupted it and she was trying to seduce me. But joke's on you, Brenda, because I'm big gay. Anyways, Brenda's desperate energy woke me up, but I was kind of glad because by the time I woke up, we were landing. And before I knew it, I was off the plane and witnessing the breathtaking beauty of New Jersey. And for those of you who don't know where Jersey is, it's close enough to New New York to where you can see it and kind of go, oh man, I wish I was there. But then you look around and you're like, oh, but I'm not. I'm in Jersey and I'm gonna make the most of it. Ah, take it easy. I'm only kidding. This place is great. Look, they've got trees. But more important than trees, they've got my friends, Shan and Chris, whose door I'm about to knock on in 0.4 seconds. 
Hey. Isn't this a chill way to say hello to someone just out of <laughs> camera shoved into your face? <laughs> What's going on, guys? How's it going? No, no hugs. Oh, sorry. Only no content. Hugs. No hugs. Content only. Content only. Content only. Can I just hold your hand? Yeah, hold my hand. Let's, let's come with me. This is Chris. Chris, yes. Say it. And then over here, we have Shan. Hello. You're here. My heart is beating fast. I am seeing critters. I am seeing sweeties left and right. Who do we have here? That's Moo. She's That's beautiful, actually. Ooh, and who do we have here? <laughs> Gary. And that's Gary. Why is he sitting so weird? You're embarrassing know. us. Does he always sit like that? No. Can I hold Gary? Yeah, oh please, please. Is he gonna freak out? Wait, what, how do you do it right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, hold, hold him like a baby. Like this? Yeah. What if I get a cat? What if I get a cat? So oh, oh he's, he's long. <laughs> have you ever seen such a stretch? Oh, oh. You probably have 30 seconds left until he's like, oh, okay. you five. oh, he's gone, and that's it. Okay, Yeah. you guys know why I'm here? No. So, I am here because I want to know about rats. I want to know about rats, I want to know what they eat, because I have a plan to bake a cake for a rat that lives in my backyard. So I explained the whole situation to Chris and Chan. You already know exactly what we're up to, so you don't have to sit through this. But I told them before we talk about the rat cake, I really wanted to see their lives. They're my friends, after all, and I don't know what their lives look like. Plus, there was a ton of cool stuff all over their apartment that I really wanted to see. Because if you know anything about me, you know I'm a curious boy. So if you put me in an environment full of cats, and rats and frame teeth, bones, trinkets, taxidermied heads, nerd shit, and whatever the f this is, I'm gonna have questions. And as if their apartment wasn't interesting enough, Chris told me that he has an entire spooky basement attached to his building where he keeps a dedicated gaming room. Also, he casually mentioned that he has a neighbor with a bunny that we could visit. So, being a person who's A, very curious, and B, severely interested in seeing a bunny, I asked them, can you show me around this place? Absolutely. Before cool. rat time, I need to see this place, so can I see it right now, and then we'll sit down with the little babies? Sure. Okay. So you like taxidermy, Shan? Why is that? I, I do. I think they're beautiful. Animals. Alive or dead? Alive or dead. Beautiful. So here's a chicken talon. This is a skunk. Or it was a roadkill and I cleaned the skull. Aww. These are some bones that I found outside. Maybe a bird? Look at those teeth. Oh, look at this little, little newt salamander guy. He was mummified. It's a little newt, newt salamander. Newt salamander. Okay, that is real cute. How long has he been dead? I don't know. Huh. I found him on a car. <laughs> is that a ghost? That's a ghost, yeah. I've got a theory that all cats are ghosts. Okay. Nice, Chris. Nice How far down does this go? Pretty far. Where do you live? What is this? Is this still your living quarters? Uh, no. Welcome. <laughs> what is this? My streaming room. I play video games for a living. Oh! My girl's boobs were jiggling around when she died. <laughs> is that a hot dog costume? Yes. Nice. I'm a huge wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see the next one. Alright, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure how much we should show here, to be honest. I don't really know, like... Chris, it, what is this? Where do you... Is this legal? It's secret. Secret. So, this is where we kill people. Believe that. <laughs> hey, Chris and Shan. Yeah. I asked you guys to show me more of where you live, and I'm seeing a room where I'm 37% sure that you guys are holding an actual hostage. Am I in danger? Yes, that's a, that's a good question. I think you're fine. Chris, what's on the wall? Mud. <laughs> Dead mouse. What? Dead mouse. Jesus! Shan, don't touch that! Oh. Why are there doors? Those are great doors. Chris, they're floor doors. Yeah. Okay. What is that back there? What are you keeping that cabinet? Oh my god, where does this go? Where is oh. this? Oh. Oh. Hey Chris? Yeah, yeah what's Can up? we get back upstairs? Yeah, for sure. After all of whatever that was, it's time to find out what to put in our rat cake. Oh my god. Really? Okay, so oh, can I get it? It's fine. Yeah. If what if he pees? She might not. Oh, she, she did pee. Oh, that's okay. I pee too. Did she have missing an eye? Yeah, Calypso has one eye. What if they fall? She won't. Official rat introductions. Calypso. <laughs> Is this video going as planned? No. I'm sorry. It's okay. No. Does everyone know there's a rat on my boot? There's a rat on your boot. There's a rat on your boot. Dude, there's oh. a rat on you. Oh. Rats are dogs. Yeah. Rats are dogs. Okay, so she's a naked girl. That's Fleeb. Oh my gosh. It's looking at me. What is it doing? She's sniffing. Oh, what if you give it whatever on top of your head? You could try. Is she having fun? Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> oh my god. Where's it going? Where's it going? Gary, f off. Chris. Uh, Chris, bad word. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, she's cleaning herself on you. That's amazing. <laughs> so, Shan, I've met all the little critters in this house, yeah? Uh, there is one more. Oh, <gasps> you have a secret rat? Yeah. So, this is Effie. This is Effie? Oh. Yeah, Effie. she's in there. <laughs> Aww. I'll just go ahead and put Effie back. We'll put Effie back, okay. right? Okay, cool. So getting into like why I actually flew to Jersey. I'm baking a cake for a rat. So what do I put in this cake um, in order to make it the best cake for a rat? Pretty much anything would be fine. Okay, cool. Uh, it was quite a long journey getting here. Do you have any other info for me? Whatever you make should be fine. Cool. Yeah. 
Well, that was easy. Shan explained to me that much like myself, a rat's diet is basically whatever food is immediately in front of them. So she said just basically keep it healthy and make sure there's no sugar and rice in it. Which is easy. So we just spent the rest of the time hanging out with the rats. But more importantly, protecting them from Gary, because apparently Gary wants to eat the rats. The rats probably look like Taco Bell to him. But they're not Taco Bell, Gary. They're our friends. So take it easy. So at this point, I'd gotten what I had came for, and it was already midnight, and I had a flight out at 6 a.m. So I did the most logical thing I could think to. Ignore sleep entirely and ask Chris if we could see that bunny he mentioned earlier, because if I hear about a bunny and don't see it out and find it and pet it? Then what am I even doing on this planet? And good God did he deliver. Have you ever seen a face like this? I petted, I kissed, and I lifted not one, but both of his ears. Which resulted in a pretty important realization. I want one bunny. Okay. <laughs> and even though I should have been going to bed at this point, I didn't. We went out and we ate our body weight and steaks, and then we walked through a place that looked a lot like hog's meat. And if you don't know what hog's meat is, don't worry about it. After the steaks was a bit of a blur, but I remember a loud bar, a loud band, and putting my sickest dance moves on a saucy little number named Darlene, who for obvious reasons, simply wasn't having it. On the ride back, we all screamed along to the only part we knew of Joji slow dancing in the dark. <laughs> Back at Chris and Chan's, we hung out with the bunny more, who I've since learned is named Sylvie, and that's his dad, Chris. And I was very grateful because I had something very important to tell Sylvie. You're a little, do you know? I honestly don't think I've ever been more obsessed with another living creature, and upon holding that bunny, I literally realized why people had children. Oh man, I hugged him so good, and he couldn't escape my affection, even though he was making a valiant effort to. Last thing I remember was watching a western and eating something cheese flavored. But at some point, I must have fallen asleep, because all I remember is waking up to Gary being so disturbing. Like, I'm not a cat owner, but who do cats think they are? This is a bed, Gary. When I woke up, I thought, where am I, and why is there a head on the wall? And then I remembered, oh my god, I'm in New Jersey and I hung out with a bunny last night and I have a flight back to Los Angeles in one hour. Chris and Shan were still asleep, of course, and I wasn't gonna wake them because it was 5 a.m. But I did make myself breakfast. And by that I mean I stole a LaCroix and some Cheez-Its. And then I very quietly put my boots on and I said goodbye to everyone who was awake. Goodbye, Moo, who was hiding under the bed. Goodbye, Calypso, goodbye, Fleeb. Goodbye, Gary, even though I think you're kinda spooky. Goodbye, Effie, I love you and I wish I would've gotten to meet you. Okay, have a good day. And then I hopped in a cab to the airport. And then I hopped on a plane, which was going in the general direction of Los Angeles. I say general direction because we stopped in West Virginia, and then Phoenix, and then just 17 hours later I was finally back in LA. What can I say? The ticket was cheap. Fun fact, the Phoenix airport has this painting in it, which seems like a huge problem. Because look, this woman's leg bone is all the way out. But whatevs. When I got back to LA, I wasted absolutely no time in getting to my rat cake making. I drove to the grocery store immediately. All the while remembering what Shan told me in Jersey to put in the rat cake. Or to not put in the rat cake. Is something about sugar and rice? I don't really remember. It was already getting hazy. It was almost a full day ago at this point. And I'm very forgetful. That's why I was in a hurry. A side note, look at all these lights on my car. There shouldn't be so many lights on. I need a new car. Ooh, the birth of a new one right before our Eyes. Normally I'd be concerned, but exclamation marks usually mean fun. So that one probably just means have fun. And doggone it, I think I will. Thank you, car. And not just for the friendly fun reminder light, but for successfully getting us to the grocery store. That was almost a whole mile with no surprise stops. Great job, car. By the way, surprise stops are what I call it when my car just stops moving when I'm driving. And then a man has to come give it a piggyback ride on his car. Oh, look at it go. It's always such fun. And speaking of fun, let's get into this grocery store, because we have a rat cake to make. First things first, we need a pan, considering these are the only kitchen utensils I have. D some tin foil and whatever this is. We certainly can't bake a cake in that. Get out of here. But that right there, we can work with. Cake pan acquired. Now let's find some nuts, because I think I've seen rats eating nuts in cartoons. These are cheap nuts. These are expensive nuts. And my little boy deserves the finest, so hell yeah on the walnuts. He also deserves dried fruit. Also, bro, who are you? Get out of here. You're making me self-conscious. I don't look like that. I look like a father of four who can't be bothered. Let's get some grains. Rats love grains. You're coming with me, grains. And what's cake without frosting? The answer is nothing. But since normal frosting is too sweet, we have to use peanut butter. But not even normal peanut butter, because that's too sweet. Instead, we're gonna use the slightly annoying kind that a mom who looks like this would use. My darlings, the strawberries are ready. Oh, Claire, Tristan and Dakota and I were just in the middle of a game. Mama, could you bring the strawberries in here? In the living room? Oh, please, Mama. I'll make sure Dakota's careful. Uh oh, I suppose just this once. Yay! You won't regret it, Mama. Next up is eggs. Rats love eggs. Also, we're probably gonna pass on the injectable butter. But we're not gonna pass on these. Are those for the rat? I'm sorry, I'm like checking out. I can't talk right now. Sorry. Fat ass. What was that? Oh, sorry. I called you a fat ass. Oh, no doubt. Look at this, by the way. Our boy's eating like a king. I don't think mothers even spend that kind of money for cakes on their own children. But even though it was almost 2 a.m., on the walk back to my car, I decided to call my mom just to verify. Uh, hey mom, sorry to wake you. Um, was there ever a point where you spent $73 on a cake for me for anything in my life, like a birthday or nope. a... Okay, well, in all fairness, that is kind of what I assumed. But in the name of emotional diplomacy, I kind of wish you would have at least taken a second to pretend to think about it for a little bit longer, but whatever. Don't worry about me, I'm doing great. Now let's bake a cake for a rat. <laughs> Sick.
Sorry, I just wanted a sick intro for this part of the video. Also, I don't own a microwave. I never have and I never will. They're so spooky. But I wanted to warm Pop-Tart and this worked. Kind of. It did catch on fire, but whatever. So listen, if you're currently thinking this is the most heartbreaking setup I've ever seen in my life, you're not wrong. And I agree wholeheartedly. Listen, I don't have some fancy kitchen. Oh, sorry I'm not Julian Solomita. I'm sorry that my counter is an Ikea stool and I'm sorry that you can see my broom in my background. Get out of here. That looks nicer. Oh, I've got no room. I've got no room. I, 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 I'll put the eggs here. I'll put the eggs up here. I, I don't have anywhere to put my eggs. H someone help me with everything. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my wrap cake kitchen floor cooking segment. <sighs> I got really premium stuff. Okay. Top grain bread here. <gasps> oh, what if I had a nice set piece? I could do better than this. Hang on. Don't look at my thighs. I'm gonna stand up. Oh, ew, my broom. Oh, the bristles touched my hands. Ew. This is gonna be nice. Well, just wait. I'm gonna put my Halloween costume behind me. What did I say? Stop. Ooh. Huh? That's nice. Oh, well, you can't even see it. Damn. It's my Halloween costume. I was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PlayStation 1. You can't even see it. It doesn't even matter. Just like, ignore it. Focus on the cake, okay? You guys need to focus. Not me. This is easy. Cake is bread and eggs and then a little bit of like some ingredients, you know? It's not even a big deal. It's really not that chaotic, okay? It's not. I'm just gonna take the bread and I'm just gonna munch, I'm just gonna set, you know. Oh, you know what? Eggs. So, eggs rise when they're in hot. Oh, ew. This is enough, right? Is this enough? I think I need more bread. All right, so let's add in the fruit. Oh, we got premium fruit. I can't, I, my eggs are too, my hands, ugh, I got egg on my nose. Ew, that can give me salmonella. This is great. Oh, okay, what's happening? Oh, this, is, this isn't gonna work, is it? Is it gonna work? It is gonna work. Wait, I didn't put in oil. What if it sticks to the pan and everyone thinks I'm an idiot? I have to take this all out. I need a pot. Okay, this is a better idea. Oh, this is great. I have to use some pan. Not too much though. Okay, you know what? Pan smells like frosting. Wait, no, don't, Garrett. You know what? Oh, wait, what else did I get? The walnuts. I heard a ghost. Let's do another egg. We'll put this as, with, there's enough bread in here. We'll put this as a side dish for the little hooligans. Oh, an eggshell, ew. The most important part about when you're baking the rat cake is if there's any of these, you have to put them in half. Oh, we have another egg. Despite how this looks, it smells wonderful. And then you just transfer it into the cake pan. Wow. Okay. Watch out. Um, I can't think of any cooks. Oh, binging with Babish. Watch out. Crumb skull, knucklehead. Coming for your brand. This feels like dead. I'm done. I don't even fit in my kitchen. Help. Ah, the steam. Ah, my breakfast's face was burned. <sighs> I think I just almost gave up on all of life. Oh God, it's burning. Move gauntlet, move light. Move broom, it's burning bad. Oh God, no, ah. This isn't even working. This glove sucks. Oh shit, I can't get it. It's burned to a crisp. Much to my surprise, the cake turned out a little rough. And by that, I mean it looks like it was hit by an actual atom bomb. And much else to my surprise, even though I oiled it, the hardest part of this was getting it out of the pan. If I know cooking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this upside down and it should just slide right out of this. If this works, I'm the best cook in America. Oh my gosh. So sure, getting it out of the pan was not going as smoothly as I thought it would go. But luckily for me, and unlike a lot of chefs, I've got the proper kitchen utensils to handle just such a problem. Please, pan. Oh my God, please, I don't know what to do anymore. Come up. <gasps> it worked. That looks pretty cute. Now the best part of all is I get to taste this because it's not gonna be gross. It's eggs and bread and it's a little burnt. That's not a big deal. And I'm sure that it'll taste very good. So I'm just gonna sample the, the cook's delicacy. Well, now that I had tasted it and I was certain that I had a real winner of a cake on my hands and had definitely succeeded, it was now time to put the finesse on my little beauty in the form of some frosting. And by frosting, I mean the opposite and most heartbreaking version of frosting, which is heart healthy, low sugar peanut butter. Now you're gonna have to forgive me for the way that I go about this. A, because I don't own a knife and B, because- Well, because I was holding a camera. Give me a break. And despite how horrifying it looks, the end result wasn't half bad. Honestly, this looks great. My God, what lucky rat's gonna get this? 
peanut butter hand. Well, there you have it. There's our finished product, our rat cake. To us, it looks awful, but to a rat, this is also going to look awful, but it's gonna taste good and be healthy. And just when you thought it couldn't look any spookier, look what it looks like outside in the cold. And Benjamin, I see you eyeing this cake. Well, you're not gonna touch it. It's for the rat. Well, you better not have eaten. And since unfortunately I wasn't gonna be in town to see my rat cake consumed, I had to set up these security cameras to be my eyes while I was gone. Why? Because I had to fly to Arizona to attend a holiday family reunion, which I was gonna be at for five days. So my plan was just to let the security cameras watch the cake. And then I would just watch the security camera recordings when I got back to LA to make sure that our rat got to it. So of course I set up everything perfectly before I left, sweetened the deal with some extra bread around the cake, including some mad crumbs for the bugs and the birds. And then I took off for Arizona. And don't worry, this isn't gonna turn into another travel moment. You got enough of that in Jersey. And Arizona doesn't even have Sylvie, so what's the point? But I will take precisely 45 seconds to summarize it for you because truth be told, it was everything. Take a look. It started with my great aunt singing us a real banger of a song. There was food, this piece of pie, and of course drinks. Just kidding, this is pure gravy. <laughs> because apparently 10 gallons of pipe and hot gravy in a drink cooler is just how my family rolls. And since of course in life some you can calculate calories and all nutrients, I decided to see just how many calories 10 gallons of gravy would equate to. Turns out it was a shameful 18,870, which is super not okay. Anyways, during my aunt's bop of a number, I witnessed one of my kid cousins on a real hero's journey. That kid's definitely related to me. Yo, thanks Aunt Leslie, that song slapped. After the reunion, my iconic mom went around handing out framed photos of herself. Damn it, I love my mom so much. At some point I did this to my stupid idiot brother Randy. And also a cat sat on my shoulder for like 18 minutes while my same stupid brother played the guitar. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was back in LA, where it was finally time to check out the status of the cake and the security cameras. Which I actually didn't do right away. I went inside and fell asleep for 16 hours. I was tired. But the next morning I woke up and walked outside and checked on it, and I was happy to see that the cake was gone, but more so than happy, I was gravely confused. Why, you ask? Mystery mode activated. And why are we in mystery mode, which is just turning the screen black and white and adding some suspenseful music? Because, because. when I left for Arizona, I specifically left the cake right here, right in front of this camera. But for some reason, now the cake is located here. So how did the cake go from here to here? Aunt aliens, perhaps? Who selfishly took it back to their planet with dumb flowers and stood around it like perverts. But then returned the plate and just moved it a little. Telekinetic bugs. One ghost, maybe even two. Carrying each side of it like this when you're helping a friend, like you do when you help when you're helping a friend move something heavy. And I'd soon have my answers when I looked at the security camera footage. But in the meantime, I was just tidying up a bit. <laughs> Believe me, I know I don't like it any more than you do, but that's the first thing that I saw when I pulled up this footage. So I filmed myself going through about two hours of footage, because these cameras recorded every single time there was motion. But luckily for you, I'm gonna summarize those two hours of motion in about two minutes. And we're gonna see if we succeeded in feeding our little rat. And since I was filming myself watching everything for the first time, we're sort of watching it for the first time together. And this is how it started. Uh, excuse me, sir. I actually don't even know what you are. That is for my backyard rat. Please step away from that cake. Don't, don't you, don't head for Bug Manor. That's a place for bugs to live in peace. Stop sniffing. Okay, so I can't see what he's doing right now, because he's off camera, but if, you, if you're eating a bug, I'm mad at you. And if you're eating my rat, I promise I'll call the federal police. Stop looking at, dude, you are Pennywise. No, that's me though. Get your teeth off that. Get your tongue off that. Look at this little bug. Oh my God, a moth. Moth, bite his ear. Look now he's eating all the bread. I have never, you know what you, don't you look up here. You are pushing it, sir. So this possum was a total drag and there was no sign of our rat yet. But the daytime gave us something almost as good as a rat. Whoa, wait, whoa. <laughs> like squirrel, come here closer to a rat. Come have some cake. Okay, I know you're eating crumbs, but you know, there's a whole cake, so. Look at these little nibbles. So the squirrel worked on the cake all day like a complete boss. He ate a lot of it, actually. Which is great, because squirrels are tight. They're also not Pennywise, so I'm cool with it. But that night is when things got a little strange. Apparently, we're never gonna get our mystery answered for why the cake was moved when I got back. Because for six hours, our cameras looked like this. So I looked it up and there was a heavy rain in LA that night, and also it was very foggy. Also, night vision cameras are just kind of weird in general and prone to stuff like this. But I think we're looking at our culprit right here, just barely. I think our possum, AKA Pennywise, dragged the cake away. So the possum tried to steal the cake. He didn't get too far, though. He got like two feet. And by the way, it wasn't until I was editing this footage that I thought to ask Google a question. A question that would help us understand why we haven't seen our rat yet. Do possums eat rats? And Google was like, uh, yeah, all the time. And now I didn't know what to think. Was our rat already gone because this big monster gobbled his freaking head off? Was he a ghost rat now who couldn't even eat cake because he's a ghost? Or worse yet, was he alive and well and just watching a big scary possum eat his cake from the shadows? I didn't know what to do and now I was freaking out. So I just did something pretty reasonable and I kept on watching the footage. The next day was business as usual, the squirrel eating crumbs and the cake when he could. But the night was a little more interesting. Oh, <laughs> a skunk. And you can bet the skunk got a little bit of cake. 
And then right when I thought the knight would just be this guy eating more and stealing more, this happened. <laughs> there he is! Oh no, come back! And just like that, our little boy was gone into the night. And I was back to watching the possum eat his cake. In fact, it seemed like every living creature besides the rat was eating the cake. Believe it or not, I even saw a bee gobbling some of its crumbs. Also, someone's cat stopped by. <laughs> but in true cat fashion, of course, he couldn't be bothered and just walked away. And even our Pennywise goblin did the exact same thing when the cake was close to gone. And even though he caused me such anguish, seeing his fat little body waddle off into the night somehow made me a bit sad. Because even though the cake was never intended for him, he certainly seemed to love it the most. And in retrospect, I think I realized that I completely stand. And the next day, the squirrel was demolishing its sad remains until he got distracted by a girl squirrel. And then they went off to have stupid little squirrel babies. And just when it seemed like all hope was lost, look who got curious now that the coast was clear. <laughs> At first, he was just hanging out with the bugs. He wasn't even eating them or anything. He was just sniffing them and being cool. And then he found it. It might have been wet mush at this point, but he found it and he was eating it completely. <gasps> It happened. And crazily enough, this was happening in the exact moment that I got back. So it was probably me that scared him away. I mean, come on, what more do you want? Listen, that's the video. We did it. We could have fed the little, the little rat. It made me feel good. I think it was a good use of my time. I think the rat thinks it was a good use of, of my time. I hope you do too. I hope you had a fun time with this video. Uh, Chris and Chan are wonderful. Their socials will be in the uh, description below. So uh, go click them in and follow them and enjoy their lives. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you so much to LifeSum. It's really great to be sponsored by someone like LifeSum because I think it's a great product and I'm excited to use it moving forward into the new year and uh, you know be a better me and I uh, hope you guys will join me the links are in the description below so you guys check that app out I hope you had a blast um now real quick <laughs> I know it was a long time ago that I asked my last question believe me I am so aware of my failures <laughs> that it makes me want to cry currently right now I'm really excited about moving into the new year for a lot of reasons over the past several months I think I've been really reevaluating what I want to do on YouTube and I have a really cool new vision of that and it's something that I've like have genuine fervor and excitement for um so I'm really stoked to, to, to bring that to you and for you to see it. And thank you for your patience eternally. As for the question that I ask at the end of my videos and you guys respond in the comments below, that's not gone anywhere. I know the last question was five months ago, sure. And that sucks. And I'm sorry. But I'm still gonna respond to some of those answers and I'm gonna ask you a new question and this is a question that is very fun. So eons ago in my last video, I asked you guys what your, your favorite fandom was because I was obsessed with an anime at the time called My Hero Academia and I still am. Okay, okay, I'll show you my All Might figure. <laughs> is it easy? Handsome. Sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go through some of your responses right now in real time. Okay, Starry Knight said, I did not expect MCR to have a comeback faster than Garrett, but here we are. <laughs> so mad at that comment, but I'm not, and I get it. Cooper Cash said, I'm really into model trains. Is that the most wholesome thing you've ever heard in your life? Maddie Ray said, I'm really into Beetlejuice the musical. Beetlejuice has a musical? What does that look like? I'm apprehensive, but I will look into it. Coleman Decker said, I love Star Wars right this second. Look, look, wait, I'm coming with my lightsaber. I'm coming to show you my lightsaber. I have one lightsaber. Can I tell you something? I was so honored. I was just invited to the Rise of Skywalker premiere. I've never been to like a red carpet, like premiere, premiere like that. And it was really, really cool. And uh, my friend, Michael fabricated from scratch a baby Yoda and he wore it to the premiere in a baby Bjorn. <laughs> it was amazing. Did everyone, has everyone seen my lightsaber? Okay, sorry. Okay, so the question that I want you guys to sound off in the comments for right now and what I am very excited to hear from you is what is something in 2020 that you want to do? With myself, that is improving my health because I've really kind of like let that go a little bit recently and that's made me a bit sad and it's improving my YouTube channel. And so yeah, those are kind of my main two things is like improving my health and improving my consistency on YouTube and just what I do and being better at that. But I want to know something in 2020 that you want to do. It could be yeah, finishing college, directing a movie, learning how to do a backflip, avenging someone. Oh my God, adopting a bunny. Can you imagine? Oh, what if that was your goal? No, but what's something that you want to do in 2020? Okay, so that's the question. I'm so excited to hear you guys' responses to that. I'm going to be deeply in those comments. I love responding to way too many comments. That's kind of my thing. And uh, if you guys want to catch me on any other social medias, on everything, on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, I am Garrett underscore Watts right here, just like this. So come say hello. I'm likely to say hello back. And as for right now, I'm going to probably sleep because it's 4 a.m. <laughs> I really I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, bye, I love you, see ya. <laughs>